What is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here. And I have just... I'll say about a couple of minutes ago, I uh, received a very... A very daunting report from... Wrestling for fans. Let me just. Let me just. Tell you what's going on. Okay. NXT. Smackdown. Raw. Have no crowd. I'll repeat that. Have no crowd. And they're all three being held at the Performance Center. Now we're all SmackDown NXT. I, I really don't care. I really don't care if they don't have a crowd or not. I just like to see good wrestling. But the fourth one? I got a question. Has the WWE, has the head honcho, has the CEO, has Vincent Kennedy McMahon lost his mind? Wrestlemania, the showcase of the immortals. This is Wrestlemania, the Super Bowl of the WWE. It was supposed to be held in Tampa, Florida. But Florida had already came out and said that you know, Mania is three weeks out, so we're not, so we're not gonna postpone or cancel. Then Tampa said, you know, if WWE doesn't pull the plug on Mania, we are. So Vince McMahon and and his in his infinite wisdom as a businessman as a promoter this is WWE's backup plan are you ready getting real close cuz I'm only gonna say this once WrestleMania is being held at the Performance Center with no crowd Um, oh, and we're all starting off with Edge. Okay, who cares? If WrestleMania was only being moved to, to the Performance Center, <laughs> sorry about that. If WrestleMania was only being moved to the Performance Center, I wouldn't, I would not care about the venue. But the fact that they have no crowd, that means that one, the Hall of Famers will not get what they deserve. They will not get the ovation they deserve. Two, who's going to watch a, a crowdless mania? You know, this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. When you have sports like hockey, when you have sports like football, when you... When you... But 
W, but WWE isn't wrestling. WWE is entertainment. Vince can call it whatever he wants to call it. But at the end of the day, it's wrestling. And wrestling is a sport. So, let's, let's talk about this. Let, uh, let me just try to wrap my head around this. That means that not only is Mania continuing without no crowd, there's also a third thing that I worry about. Fan outrage. That means the millions of fans that ordered their WrestleMania tickets. This means that they are getting reimbursed. They probably have to, I don't know this for a fact, but they are probably only renting the venue for Mania in Tampa, so that means they have to reimburse that. Fans are going to be... Con Fans are going to be outraged, and here's why. If I go to, if I went to WWE.com and ordered WrestleMania tickets and found out that I couldn't use them, found out that I spent money for nothing, I would be upset. But there's also another thing. You don't do Mania without a crowd. I mean, that's... Okay, that's like going to a football game. Having no fans. At all. And you have two teams... And the teams, well, they're playing, but they don't have any energy to feed off of. Wrestlers feed off the energy of the crowd. And WrestleMania has always had a crowd. And, yeah, WWE has been around for a long time, and they're still making history. The first ever women's match in Saudi. The first ever women's championship match in Saudi. The first ever this, the first ever that, the first ever this, the first ever that. The first ever crowdless WrestleMania. And it's not... And... You know... It's not as bad for AEW because at least AEW doesn't have a big pay-per-view until May. But then again, blood and guts may be crowdless. Could you imagine that? Watching a War Games match without a crowd. <laughs> Could you imagine watching a football game without a crowd? I know I can't. WWE should have just postponed it. And they should have they should have extended storylines. And yeah, I understand that they would have had to, you know, work with John Cena and his movie schedule and everything like that. Of 
Coronavirus, this is all your fault. And I hope and pray that you, Coronavirus, rest in peace. I'm Hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone.